Hey everyone, it's Big Z, and welcome back to Player Unknown's Battleground. So, we're still trying to get that coveted top 10 spot, maybe even top 5, maybe we'll even win a match. Anything can happen, the world is our oyster. It's a very deadly oyster when it comes to PUBG, though, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know, keep your fingers crossed. It's been a while since I played this, so I don't know how well I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna die a lot at the beginning, but we'll just keep going until we have a semi-successful round, and then we'll end the episode. Because that's, I don't know, I kind of prefer doing it that way. Because 9 times out of 10 with these matches, I end up dying in like the top 30. And that's not fun to watch. It's not fun to play either. I almost said it's not fun to play. But it's not really fun to watch. So I'd rather, you know, have something interesting to show you guys. Ho wink. So, we'll just keep going until, I don't know, I do something somewhat successful eventually, maybe. Cool, great plan. Is everyone fully clothed? Nope. <laughs> There's always one. There's always got to be that one black sheep. Or two. Okay. Maybe there's a third around. I don't know. Who knows? Why is everyone naked in this game? Like, that is the question that keeps me up at night. Is it because of, because of the Mac McElroy brothers? Mc McElroy brothers? Whatever their names are? I don't know. I watched one of their uh, PUBG runs the other day and I was like dying of laughter. Because they have one of the girls that work there. Okay. Like, tell them what to do the whole time, and it was actually hilarious. It was actually a lot funnier than I expected. Also, I just realized there's, like, sunset mode now. That's really pretty. At least I'll have a pretty scene to die on. <laughs> okay, we're not going for the military base. We're gonna wait a little bit. I'm kind of like, let's go this way. Let's go to that town. Right? Because we should be able to make that, right? Oh, yeah. In fact, we're so able to make that, I, I'm kind of afraid a lot of people are going to try to make that. But we'll give it our best shot. Do we have the whole place to ourselves? Nope, there comes a person. There's a lot of people. Okay. Cool. Let's see if this is the fastest I ever die. It's so pretty. Such a pretty scene for us to get murdered on. Please don't let anyone find any guns anytime soon. I call dibs on this set of houses. These are mine. There are many that look like it, but this set is mine. Look, it's yellow. Like the channel. I don't know what the red roof, like I can't really think of anything, you know, to say about the red roofs, but I mean, they're pretty. I don't know how they relate to the channel, but they're pretty. And the buildings are yellow. Did I mention that? Okay. How do you do anything in this game again? I don't know. I feel like a baby again. I feel like a brand new baby babu in this world of death and killing. Uh, take that. Ah, oh, yeah. We'll crowbar them to death. That's definitely how you combat in this game. Really? A machete? Can I have something that will be at least somewhat successful in a fight? I don't know a lot of people who bring crowbars to a gunfight. For a second I thought someone was in here and I was like, oh, hello. Or should I say goodbye? Because someone is going to die here. <laughs> Probably me. I have such self-confidence, guys. You don't need to say it. I know. Okay. I don't know. Heading away from the circle. Probably a stupid idea. Yes, but there are more, cir more circles. There are more houses over here. There are more circles over here. I would be much more excited. Because I feel like our prospect of living would be much higher. But nope. It is extremely low. Whoa, it's already 72? Hot damn. Oh, there's finally a thing here. Hell yeah. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Do I sound like a broken record yet? Get rid of the crowbar. What good are you going to do us? Gun? Maybe? Nope, just ammo. Oh wait, no, there is a gun. Yay, it's a pistol, because we all know how useful pistols are in this game. God dang it. Okay. Beggars can't be choosers. Say it with me now. Beggars can't be choosers. And there's a backpack and a smoke grenade. Oh my goodness. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, you know what? I will take what I can get. That's all I can get. I accept that fact. Let's go. Okay. So I looted the houses for the most part. Uh, but we may die very quickly here. Because I, of course, waited to the last minute to head in towards the circle. And I just wanted to loot, you know? It's within my first instinct, always, to loot everything and anything. Even if it means risking my life against the circle. 
but it's the first circle, so I'm kind of, like, placing all my bets, I guess, in the fact that, like, usually the first circle doesn't hurt that much. And hopefully we won't get attacked by anyone in the nearby houses here. Really, I'm just putting a lot of this in faith. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a lot of faith for a game where you probably shouldn't have a lot of hope and faith. I also like the fact that you can stare at the sun in this game and your retinas won't burn to death. It's really cool. <laughs> that happens occasionally in Florida, though, with, like, the... Something moving over there? Not sure if car or possibly background loading in. Probably both. Like, every now and again, we get, like, wispy clouds in Florida. So you can, like, look up and you can see the sun through the clouds without burning your eyes out. Still wouldn't recommend it, but I mean, you know. Hey, we're in the circle. Almost. Maybe. We're getting there. And we are there. We're also running in the middle of a field. Is it the smartest move? No. Am I gonna die? Most certainly. I have my spot picked out that I want to go to, but we have to circle around. That scared the crap out of me. Everything just, like, loaded for a second, and it was, like, a f bright flash, and I thought I was dying. Um, but I kind of just want to skirt around these buildings, and then we'll head in the direction of the place and the thing I did. The, the mark that I made on the map, the marker. Hey, there's a drop. Don't drop near where I'm running, please, and thank you. I'm sure you have all sorts of goodies that you would love to give the people. Really, you're like the equivalent of Santa in this game, but I would prefer to stay away from you. Have a lot of good stuff, or stay alive. I prefer stay alive, thank you. I don't know. This has been my plan so far with the game. And, like, knock on wood, it's done okay so far. Where I just, like, get a bunch of basic stuff, and then as we head in, once we're, like, more in terms of, like, I don't know, where I think the circle's gonna be, where I think the circle is gonna close in, then I concentrate more on getting, like, really good stuff. So, because, like, right now people are still concentrating on, you know, finding whatever loot they can. So, for the most part, people are going to be stationary. But, like, if you've already established yourself in terms of, like, where the circle is going to be, then I feel like it's a lot easier to defend yourself rather than, like, trying to find loot than trying to push in on the place. That's my logic. Dude, what the fuck? Dude. Well, I want to go down there and explore, but then I thought about it and that seems like, an, you know, the ultimate death trap. Uh, so let's not do that thing. I would love to go down there and explore, but I don't want to die. I'm sure someone has already gone down there and it's been like, we call dibs. This is our place. So, you know, maybe next time. There's a buggy over there and I really, really want it, but I also really, really don't want to risk it. I don't know. Do we risk taking the buggy? I think we might risk it. If I can crawl over to it, we might risk it. Or no, it's pointing east, right? No, it's pointing west. I don't know which way it's pointing. I don't know which way is front and which way is back. To be fair, buggies are very oddly shaped. Like, either side could be the front and or the back. No, it's pointing east, so it should be okay. I don't know. Is that like a, a wives' tale or something? That like, if it's pointing east, it means someone didn't set it up? That it's been sitting there? Because if that's the case, I feel extremely lucky that I found it, so. No, I don't want to be in the back seat. What kind of fucking logic is that, game? Thank you. Maybe if I was in co-op, but I have no friends that play this game. I have friends. They just don't play this game. So it doesn't really make sense to uh, be in the back seat of the buggy if no one's going to drive. Can I just like run around in the buggy until the level is over, until this round is over? <laughs> That'd be awesome. You just run around and hit everyone with the buggy. That's how you win the game. And now we wait. I was gonna take the house, but I think someone's in there, so I'll take what I can get and use this instead. And use the smoke grenade if someone comes in. So hopefully I can get out, and then they'll think I'm still in here. We can sneak by them, or possibly kill them. I don't know. And the melee weapon is next. Okay. I have my plan. I never thought I would, you know, have to plan out a murder, but apparently that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, they're dropping like flies. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so many dying. 
literally only three people died, but to me, I'm just like, oh my gosh, holy shit, they're all dropping. I don't know how I'm still alive. Day 53, they haven't found me yet. <laughs> oh, I'm so easily entertained. 19, we made it in the top 20. We made it in the top 20, boys and girls, and we're probably going to shortly die after this, because I hear so many people popping off outside, it's not even funny. Like, they are literally right outside. Unless we get maybe an asymmetrical circle, that would be amazing. If it decides to close in on this area instead of uh, the town, like I think it's going to. Like, I'm pretty sure it's going to. You never know. Don't question the circle, though. Don't try to guess the circle's motives or what the circle is trying to do. Just go with the circle. Just go with the flow, you know? I have absolutely no flow, so we're going to see how this goes. But, you know, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe we'll do well. Oh, I can see the circle closing in through the window. That's terrifying. Oh my gosh, my stomach's all tied in knots. I'm so nervous. you think I would be used to it by now. I play, I've been playing this game a lot in my spare time, so you think I would be used to it, but nope. Still get terrified. Come on, asymmetrical circle. God dang it. Okay, well, this is where we die, kids. Gonna head out the back. But maybe that's not the best plan. Did anyone ever take- They didn't take the buggy! No one took the buggy. Get in the buggy. Oh my god, I thought someone would have taken it. We'll just ram everyone over. We'll just ram through everyone. You can't dodge them, ram them. Or something like that. I'm sure we're like- We're like a freaking dinner bell right now to everyone. Hello, come and kill us. Hey! Oh shit! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Woo! -hoo. We're going hunting, boys and girls. Ah, no! No, shit! God dang it. <laughs> no! I don't know what I was thinking. Why did I do that? I don't know. God dang it. Ah, uh, we were doing so well, though. God dang it. Okay. Not my smartest move. I will admit, that was very stupid. I don't know why I thought ramming in them into the wall would be enough to kill them. But, uh, the more you know, you live and learn, you die young so you don't live long enough to see yourself become the villain, something like that. I don't know. But that's all the stupid stuff I'm gonna do for today. <laughs> that's the stupidest move I'm gonna pull today. And now we know. Is it worth it to ram someone into the side of a wall? No, not really, because really you're just getting yourself killed by doing that too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Uh, you know, that wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping we would make it towards the top 10, but at the same time, I had kind of like my high expectations set up, which was make it into the top 10, but I also had my low expectations, where I expected, you know, that we weren't gonna make it past the top 30, and that was really what I was expecting. So the fact that we made it in the top 20, I'm okay with that, you know? It's closer to the higher expectation, not low enough to be too close to the low expectation, and really, what we can take away from this is if you set your expectations really low, it's really easy to rise above them. So, you know, and then you're constantly impressing yourself. That's really bad advice. Don't do that. <laughs> Instead, uh, put your expectations super high and then work towards them. Work towards that goal. That's better advice. Really, the best advice I could give right now is the advice of don't listen to Big Z. Big Z gives advice, but you shouldn't listen to Big Z, especially since she talks about herself in uh, third person all the time. That's, uh, that should be a solid indicator you shouldn't listen to someone if they give you advice, is if they constantly talk about themselves in third character. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this episode here, and the next episode we'll continue to try to get that coveted top 10 spot. And yeah, I kinda like, I don't know. I'm a bit more excited playing the game now, because I can actually see the improvement that we've made in the past few episodes. Because like, when I first started the game, I was constantly dying at like, the average. I was always in, like, the top 50 or whatever. You know, I was within, like, the medium percentile, the, the medium range. Um, so, yeah, now that we're getting into, like, the top 20 and possibly the top 10, I feel like that's a big improvement. So, it's the little things. It's the little improvements and sometimes the big improvements that help you, you know, keep the big picture in mind. Again, off I go on a tangent of trying to sound motivational, inspirational, and possibly giving advice, but again, should you listen to it, I'll leave that up to you. But I'm going to leave this episode here and stop rambling. So I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!